So, <clears throat> what's up everybody welcome back to my twisted life on tv i'm poetry i'm just gonna come here and give y'all a random ride to work that's gonna be filled with channel news and stuff like that and things is update on my life because i'm not sure if i'll be able to do it tuesday um it's darkness so we finna ride into the darkness again once my garage door close i see somebody else car lights Alright, so notice oh, oh dang, that's their porch light. So since it's dark, I can eat on camera. I'm eating popcorn if y'all just really wanted to know. Um, because I couldn't get my dog on turkey bacon package open in order to make me a bacon and egg sandwich this morning. I am extremely exhausted, like no other. I am super late today. It is 6.29 a.m. Y'all know right now I'm supposed to be at work at 6. I'm just leaving my house at 6.30. I'm so late today that I actually called my boss and let them know I was going to be late. Usually I just I just come and I just show up whatever time I show up. And it's usually somewhere between 1 minute to 15 minutes. Not no whole freaking hour because I ain't going to be there for another hour. I mean, not another hour. I won't be there until 7. I'm going to hit the toll road. Just try to try to get there at 7. If I take the street, I used to be 715. Uh, but I'm only coming in today. My uh, goal today. Anything I'm doing early this morning is specifically for my assignment anyway. So I just may be behind on my side of the day. I'm just tired. I can't stay awake. I try to watch TV. I fall asleep. Um, I started working on it. Let me tell y'all. I'm going I'm to get back to that. First of all, let me tell y'all. I have my results back from my mammogram. All systems are go. Everything is good. No signs of changes from the last time I did one. I haven't got my poop test results back yet. All my other lab work that I did that day and uh, screenings that I did that day, I won't hear nothing for like a week. Um, my back is messed up so much. They put me back on muscle relaxers that again, I can't take in the daytime. She told me to take them at night. Look here, I don't even know when I'm about to fall asleep on my own. So I have not taken a single muscle relaxer pill. And once I get to work, I, I feel it. I almost fell down uh, some steps at work. I was carrying something that was super heavy up to a client's apartment. And I had to go up uh, three flights of stairs and they don't have no elevators in this building. And I hit that first flight. I didn't even make it up to half the first flight. I almost fell backwards because the weight of the uh, item. I dropped it and took it up a little bit at a time. <laughs> it was all one big container. That's why I was like, one big container of information. That's why I was like, um, let me just take this whole container for one time. Now I take shit out and then take it up. I never have a problem carrying heavy stuff, but I'm so fucking tired right now. I lost my balance. That's all it was. I think yesterday at work, oh, we, I told you another person quit. One of the new people, I think I told y'all one of the new people quit already. Um, yesterday at work though, like everybody is so exhausted. They walking around looking like zombies. Everybody coming down with migraines and headaches. Like three people asked me for doggone ibuprofen yesterday because they know I got some prescription strength. I got that with me today in case I need it. It's just been it's been rough on the body and on the mind. I just I just I just ooh. Got me stuttering. It's a mess. So um and we don't have no break until January. I took off while well, I requested off. Because now that I earn leave again, I have to request off. I requested off between whole first week of January. One is Keena's birthday week. We always do something for her birthday. 
to I'm tired I haven't been on a vacation or, or schedule time off where I have to do other shit in a year it was King's birthday last time that we did it I need time away from that place for a full seven day cycle I need time away oh sweet baby Jesus and the manger okay so I don't know if they're going to grant it to me or not but if they don't I'm going to go to my therapist look here you already know get the fuck off my ass we already know what the fuck um, she already knows the environment I'm in she already told me I need to take time and if I explain the situation a little bit further you know I, I think she helped me get the time I need I need to I need to decompress I feel like I'm gonna snap on some motherfucking body I feel it I was just crying yesterday for no fucking reason. Actually, and it's because I'm exhausted. I cry, I cry to an extreme, extreme exhaustion. I do, y'all. It's like exhaustion is over fucking women. A boss just hit me back. He said, okay, in response to me saying, I'm, I'm just waking up, but I'm coming. Uh, so, that's what I was going to talk about earlier. website survivebeauty.com I started posting up pictures again because I just knew I was fucking ready I just knew I was ready and this is what happened wanna hear it here you go I'm fucking hungry y'all y'all see me just shove this popcorn in my damn mouth I ain't drinking no water nothing I'm hungry so okay I, I got on the website that I was on and they offer you a 14 day free trial to start out with by the band, by the boom, by the bing, by like a, a free trial. What the fuck just happened? I gotta pay attention to the road for a second. Okay, so they started me off with a free trial, which allows me the time to design and build my website and everything and get it the way I want it. Let's see if I even like So y'all can see the colors perfectly and stuff. 
I had some uh, product malfunction. One of my damn brushes fell into the bottom. One of my tips broke off. I was like, I hope people that I've already seen stuff too ain't having any same issues. Ain't nobody said anything about the product itself except for Paula. Hey, Paula girl, thank you. Um, no, my girl, Lightning did too. A lot of people tell me that it's beautiful, but they still haven't told me like my cousin did too. Hey, girl, hey. Hey, hi. Um, but, uh, but oh, my cousin Charlie did too. Never mind. I should say ain't nobody. Let me tell, stop telling that lie. And I done got four people that done gave me product reviews. Although I done sent over four hundred dollars worth of orders out to people. I need to know things like, are y'all having a problem with the with the um, the tubing? Um, is the color not staying? Is the color separating? I had a couple colors separate on me. You know, I keep back up in my lab. They separated on me. And I'm like, so the people that I sent this to, did y'all get this batch? Because I had a couple batches. Which batch did y'all get? Because I don't remember. I hope I gave them the right batch. But in the meantime, in between time, I went ahead and sent them out a doggone um, new product. It gives off the same effect. I'm going to discontinue the one that they got because I, I can't keep it. There's, it's something that's not holding together, something not gelling together. And it's turning into like one big lump inside the, the, the color. It's just like separating all together. So I sent them a replacement with a nice little handwritten note. Said, I know you haven't complained. I didn't complain. She expected concern. But it just has a good basic measure. I want to try to correct this before it actually is a problem. I ain't got no response from them either. They haven't sent me like something back saying, no, it wasn't no issue at all. Thank you. Um, <laughs> but thank you for the color. They haven't said, yeah, we did have a problem. Thank you for, they haven't said nothing. I know they got it though because I could check the tracker. I'm not used to that type of uh, interaction. I like, I guess because I try to, I got to remember everybody like me. I try to give people feedback. Especially when it's small businesses. Especially when it's people I know. I try to give them more genuine feedback and shit like that, you know. Like, eight all this ain't working. This is why, you know. Probably. Anyway. But, all the ones who have posted pictures and everything, I appreciate y'all. That's something. That's better than not saying nothing at all for me. You know, at least saying you got your package, they show the pictures. I appreciate that. But back to the website. So I think I'm ready to launch. I'm ready to go. All orders that I get before December 16th, I should be able to get out to you, everybody by Christmas Day. Um, y'all should have your orders by Christmas. Launch the orders placed by December 16th. If you go to Savad uh, Beauty on Facebook. S-I-V-A-D on Facebook. You can see some of the colors. I put pictures of some of the colors. I think I got all the colors up there. I know I got some of them up there. So y'all can see what they look like on there. Um, and I'll be ready to start taking orders again soon. But the website, the reason why everything was gone, the one that they was allowing me to build during the free trial, they did not, when, I, uh, when it went into where the free trial mode was over they did not consolidate my account which means they upgraded me to a paid account but everything I did on the free end everything which I had designed already they didn't they didn't they didn't put it together so now when I go into it it looks like I have never worked on a website before. There's nothing there at all. Nothing there at all. And I was like, I've been spending hours trying to stay up as much as possible. Or getting up at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning trying to work on this. Because I ain't been able to sleep. Good. I slept through the night last night, though. Actually, did I? I don't know when I fell asleep. I remember waking up around 12. And I set my alarm so I can get up this morning at 4.55 a.m. And 
and, and Buster went off, and I didn't hear it. Somebody light so fucking bright that this whole car is lit up. It's getting lighter out here anyway. So, you need to make up your mind what lane you want to be in. Because in front of me ain't it. A third fucking tell you to jump your ass in front of me. So, um, yeah, it didn't consolidate everything. So now I have to literally build the entire website. All over again. All over again. So you see, I can't even start to begin like doing a YouTube channel for it. Because I can't even get the fucking website itself functioning like I want to because they didn't consolidate it. I'm supposed to have 24 hours support. I ain't had that yet either. <laughs> ah. That's how you try to get support. You send you to a fucking online forum. That ain't what the fuck I want. I need a person. I'm one of them people. I still like to deal with people. I don't want to call your business and talk to a fucking computer. Now, I got my business email through Yahoo, right? Um, I should have got it through my host. My host was saying it was six dollars a month for my email. I'm cheap. I only need one. So I started Googling. Yahoo said it was offering as low as a dollar. Went to Yahoo. It ended up being $315. I, I didn't qualify for the dollar one. I don't know why I don't care. But I'm like, $315 is still cheaper than $6. So, I I paid for the email through them. And I tried to. But for some reason, they never let me set up what my email should be. They got the website handle, but they don't have like where I want to have contact us or info or whatever. None of that. Because it better not be my real fucking name. Because that was one of the options that they was telling me I could have. And I don't want my real fucking name on there. Um, so. I called Yahoo. To talk to them. Like what's going on? Why I can't see it? Why it's not working right? Why didn't let me select what my one might do to me? And the guy was like, okay, you can edit that in the settings, but if you already got one, we're not going to let you do another. No, I've never picked one. That's what I'm saying. It took him a long time to understand why, because he was in India. How I call Yahoo that's located in Sacramento, California, and the person that answered the phone is in motherfucking India. A serious language barrier. Serious language barrier. And I just couldn't for the life of me. I couldn't put life me. Get him to understand. I mean, I literally had to stop every sentence like, okay, good morning. How you doing? You understand what I'm saying? Every sentence, y'all. Every sentence. My name is Portia Davis. You get that? You understand that? You can me spell that. This is what I'm doing. I bought an email through Yahoo Small Business. You understand that part? I mean, and that's how we had to break it down. We had to take it like that. Because it, it was so difficult to do. So difficult to, oh my gosh. All these damn big ass companies that outsource their businesses to fucking India and shit like that. But nobody in motherfucking America got jobs. It's a call center. Why people in the call center can't have jobs here in America? And then he like, I don't know, whatever. Well, our unemployment rate high as fuck, and they got people call centers in whole other motherfucking countries. They can't understand the language just from the countries that people are calling them from. I'm quite sure the United States was not the only people that call Yahoo. Or all that shit, I don't know. Anyway, I gotta redesign the whole website, y'all. The entire website, all over. Again. It took me seven hours the last day when I thought I was done. It's not including how many hours it took me before. 
to get shit right, get logo images the right size, and yada yada this, and yada yada that. Took me a while. So, I gotta redo that shit again. Which means, recap some reviews. I guess I need to get to that point, huh? It's haunted. I usually have put a ring on it and raise your love up by yesterday. Unless I get off work super early today, one or more of those, one or both of those ain't going up today. They did see they didn't make it up yesterday. The show earns again tonight. And it's been juicy. So I want to talk about it. I want to talk about it. And, um, oh gosh. Hey, right, ate that whole bag of popcorn. I'm almost at work, though. Um, my, my card, my credit debit card got hacked again. While I was on the phone with the bank. Um, and I hadn't used it at any place either. Like last time I said that. They believe that my car got skimmed at a gas station. I hadn't been to a gas station at this particular time. Um, so, the last thing I had did was did an online purchase for the store Michaels. I don't like Michaels. I normally don't go there. But there's one item that I needed, Michaels had it. So, um, I, I went to the purchase something online from them. Went to go pick it up. And within hours, within hours, my debit card was be, trying to be hacked. Some motherfucker in Dallas, Texas. It's always somebody in Texas. I was going to say Ty, get your people, but I don't think Ty watch my channel no more. So, yeah. Um... Somebody in Dallas, Texas was at a sitco gas station swiping away. They tried it four o'clock three times. No, they tried 359 three times. They tried it in the four o'clock. Then waited three minutes, tried it 403. The thing was, I was on the phone with the bank. I say, dude, somebody's trying to use my card right now. I'm sitting here at home in Orlando with my card in my hand because I'm talking to you. He logged into the system. So all the transactions trying to happen. Black, 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 black. Six transactions. So all together. Six transactions, y'all. Black, 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 black. Oh, sweet baby Jesus in time to major. Six transactions. Um, so I had to cut that card off. Luckily, I have four different bank accounts or different bank institutions. I got my money spread around. So, in case some shit like this happen, I always still have money now. Um, Because they won't send me a replacement car until Monday is what the dude said. I'm not doing, like, Christmas shopping, nothing like that, so. <sighs> Mess. Mm. What's today's date? I need to check my bank account in St. Louis. Because I think my auto insurance come out tomorrow. I need to make sure that I got enough money in my uh, checking for my auto insurance to come out tomorrow. Because I don't I don't keep my money in my checking. I keep it in my savings for the most part. I keep like a small amount of usable funds because that's what they be hacking is the checking account. And all my bank accounts are set up that if I ain't got the money in the checking, don't pull it out of my savings. I turn that shit off. I used to have that. I used to have a word. If I don't have enough money in my um, checking, for you to automatically withdraw from my savings. They charge you like $5 every time you do that, right? And if you're not paying attention, um, then you don't know that it's not... That they doing that, you just thinking that your bill or whatever you bought is getting paid or the money's going to do it, or you have money available, so you ain't bothering to really check it. And stand people with big ass mufflers on their vehicles for no fucking reason. So, yeah, I wouldn't bother checking, so I had to turn that shit on because I was realizing 
I was losing a lot of $5 things here because I had some stuff set up automatically so therefore I could um, pay for it. I forgot how close I was to work, y'all. I'm going to get off here. I got to put my hand up so y'all can't see my, my business <laughs> where I work at. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for being here. Thank y'all for listening. This has been a random ride to work. Peace out, y'all.